Are you a pedophile? No, ma'am. There's no history of none of this in my, in my life. Um, and now fast forward to this murder case. What do you want to say about that? Well, I found my wife in that position, you know, so it's unfortunate what I'm going through right now. But like I say, um, I just need someone to investigate it. You know, the uh, officer said they would do a thorough investigation and which they didn't. You know, they clearly told me that me being the husband, I would be the first suspect, which is not a problem. They said they would do a thorough investigation. They didn't. Yeah, it's just unfortunate that uh, this is happening this way. But like I say, I definitely feel I prevail in the end because the facts are the facts. And I have the facts on my side, you know. I don't know what occurred. I just found my wife like that. So uh, they're saying they matched the GPS coordinates from your electronic monitoring bracelet to the crime scene. To where the body was. I was on my way to Henderson Hospital on Galleria. You know, I do suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. I had a panic attack. I mean, blacks are being killed every day by the police, so I was afraid to call the police. I pulled over, had a panic attack, and, you know, got out the car. I mean, that's not going to show a crime. That just showed that I took my wife there, had a panic attack, got out and ran. Did you kill your wife? No, ma'am. I'm innocent until proven guilty. Circumstances is circumstances. I mean, someone can say something about you. I can get a whole media against you, but the whole time, it can be a lie. You know, what's false is false. Everybody can believe something is false, but at the end of the day, it's still false. So, um. Do you, I guess when you were granted um, permission to have that electronic monitoring, were you surprised that you were given that opportunity or? No, I shouldn't even, I, I feel I shouldn't even been arrested. All they had to do was investigate it. If they had investigated, they would have seen who was behind it. You know, my wife clearly stepped forward clearly, you know, said that it was a bunch of bull. We looked at our videos of the of where we stayed. There's no such allegations as this. We got eyewitnesses that was there at the place at the time of the argument, you know. They just went off of that. I mean, I'm born and raised out here, so when they heard my name, instantly they, they jumped on it. They didn't do no investigation. The report was wrote on the 21st. I was arrested on the 22nd. Someone did this, you know, in which they clearly know someone did this but they're not even investigating it. It could be difficult to disprove the information about the GPS coordinates though, right? With that ankle monitor? I'm not trying to disprove it. I don't have to disprove that. I mean, if the GPS had a video on it, it'd show where I was at. You know, at my home, I was in my studio, so I know exactly where I was at. It's just, I didn't even supposed to be at the house at the time because I had COVID. So if you look at my phone, which I don't have no access to my phones or nothing like that, I called my wife when she got off work. She didn't answer. And that was me heading to the house to clean it up. I cleaned it up on Thursdays and Sundays. And um, she ended up calling me back at 1.30 while I was, you know, cleaning. And I just gave her a thumbs up. So she, the whole time she thinks I'm at the, at the high rise. I have, I have two places. Who would want to kill your wife then? something that we really is going to have to find out because I found my wife like that. So there's something else going on from the point of me getting my last text and me finding her. And I'm praying, you know, it's stuff, it's stuff buzzing up in here, you know what I mean? I don't know how true it is. I'm trying to get an investigator on that. You know, I can't say too much about it because I don't know for sure, but supposedly, you know, someone basically came clean about a similar situation. So but I can't even get no assistance on that. So when you called and said something was up and she said this man said something to her and gave her a weird look, that was before you're saying you found her body or after? I found my wife after the football game. So the football game was over around eight something. So that's when I found my wife. 
But w you called 911 at some point, right, to report concerns about her. So what time did you call? That was probably around nine. But at that point, I'm traumatized. I've seen my family, my wife, the love of my life, dead. So, so you, I'm, I'm in. But at no point in that call did you say you found her, right? No, in that, in that call, I was, just, I was traumatized. I was urged to call from one of my friends in which he like, look, man, just call. You know, I was like, dude, how am I going to explain this to the police? You know, they're already killing blacks. You know what I mean? They're not going to believe me. He's just like, man, please just call. Just call him, man. Please call him. So I went ahead and called him, and I just gave them the information from the last text I gave him. But in, in that phone call, it makes it seem like you have no idea what happened to her. Well, that clearly was proven by the detectives. They said that from day one, that, hey, we don't believe that. From the gate, he said that. I'm like, you know, dude, I was, like I say, I was traumatized. They said that from the gate. So now my thing, if you don't believe what I'm saying, just investigate what happened. That's all you got to do. They didn't do it. Uh, anything, how, how concerned are you that you are going to spend the rest of your life in prison if convicted? Um, you know, some things you just have to look at when it comes to the law. You know, the law is about facts. The law isn't about assumptions. The law isn't about hearsay, you know. So an example would be, yes, I do have a GPS on, but this GPS only shows you my coordinates. The GPS isn't an eyewitness to anything. I can explain my mental illness. It's, it's, it's on record, it's on file. I suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. You can go to my physician and see that, you know. But that GPS is the only thing that they're going off of. You still need two eyewitnesses. You still need some type of forensic, or, or excuse me, some type of scientific scientific evidence in which they took all of this, and they don't, and, and the fingerprints didn't even match up to be me. What do you want to? Someone else is involved. What do you want to say about your wife? I love my wife. I miss my wife, you know, and I, I pray that she's going to prevail through all of this. That's how, my wife, you know. How will she prevail, though? We're going to find out who killed my wife. Uh, anything you want to add? Uh, like I said, ma'am, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm staying prayed up, and it's going to work out, you know. It has no choice. You know, like I say, you got people, it's buzzing up in here right now that someone has spoke of, spoke of my, or described my situation, you know, so I don't know if, if this is a person that's, trying to come forward or what, you know, but I tried to get some investigators just to look into that and nobody did that. So I don't know if this person's still here or not or what, you know, so I'm just praying that somebody will look into this. I mean, I know it looks crazy, but the world looks crazy, but the facts always going to stand strong. So the friend, the, the friend you talked with um, when, after you said you found her body and the friend said, we'll just call, who, what, what's that friend's name? Uh, I'm not going to give his name up. This is about me, but it's, it's in the records. They have that on file. You know, I'm certain he would be one of their witnesses, you know, to come in just to uh, confirm that, you know, but I have no problem with telling the truth on that, you know. That's, I, I, I panicked. I don't know who's ever been in a situation like mine, finding the love of their life dead. You know, I panicked. I could have did things different now today that I could sit back and look at it, but, you know, having post-traumatic stress disorder, you know, and having a fear of the police killing you, you're going to do things different. And I did things different. 